Wyoming is home to the beautiful Wind River Indian Reservation, one of the largest Indian reservations in the United States. More than 15,000 tribal members live here, both Eastern Shoshone and Northern Arapaho. I could probably talk for a whole month on just why we should be teaching Native American history in the state of Wyoming, but I think that just to, to help with so many stereotypes. Some of the non-Native students still think that we live in teepees. People in Wyoming don't really have a very high level of awareness about a Native culture and Native history in Wyoming. There's a lot of value in, and beauty in, in Native cultures that I think everyone should be aware of that maybe they could benefit by too. It's very important for all the people to understand the history of America. The two tribes have a rich history tied to Wyoming. In fact, both tribes were here long before Wyoming became a state. Shadeba Sorcery here. Say, we are the Shoshones. He bought the Nabati. He didn't know it at the end of the day, don't know. He bought the Nabati. Learn our Rapaho ways. I didn't know. I didn't know. Our history has never been told accurately. It's really important for people to understand who we are as tribal people. Students throughout the state are unaware of what happens on the reservation. Most people in Wyoming have never been here. They avoid it unless they're just passing through on one of the highways. We're not just a black box in the middle of Wyoming where we live on a reservation, but we have a lot to offer. We're not all just clumped together in one tribe. We have had endured the encroachment of non-natives, but also we've shaped America. I would hope that children, students across Wyoming come to a greater level of awareness. Native boys and girls are no different than boys and girls everywhere. Tribal children are just as engaged with life and computers and TV and sports and anything you can imagine. We welcome people to our homes. We enjoy interacting with other people. We're friendly people. Once people see that and they understand the rich history that we have and the strong connections that we have, they would feel welcome to come out and see for themselves. And yes, we're a big part of history, but we're also part of the present. It can misango for me out of Wingenda. These video modules have been developed through extensive research and interviews with tribal members, elders, experts, and historians. They're designed to make it easy for school teachers to incorporate Native American history into regular classroom instruction. The primary goal is to provide a way for students to learn about the people of the Wind River Reservation. The five stories we'll explore are, who are the people of the Wind River Reservation? Who are the Eastern Shoshone? Who are the Northern Arapaho? How does tribal government work at Wind River? And Preserving the Ways, the final video, will look at the efforts to preserve the rich culture and traditions of each tribe. <laughs>